let's integrate uh, these integrals find, find the following integrals okay so you want to integrate cos 6x uh, I would like you to do uh, like uh, you to do by substitution you can do that without substitution but uh, I like to substitute because it makes life easier so I'm going to let u is equal to 6x u is equal to 6x this implies differentiating both sides with respect to x, so you can say du by dx is equal to 6. I can see dx, so dividing both sides, or I hope you can see du by 6 is equal to dx. <coughs> so in place of dx, I'm going to put du by 6. And in place of 6x, I'm going to put u. So these are the two substitutions. So this becomes integration of cos u in place of dx, I can put du by 6. So this is same as 1 sixth times integration of cos u du. So this is integration of cos is sine. So this is integration of sine, sine u plus c, the constant of integration. But what is u? u is equal to 6x. Six six, so the final answer is 1 sixth sine 6x six six plus c. Okay, <clears throat> let's move on. Integrate this. Integrate 4x minus 5 over 2x plus 1. So again, I'm going to do a substitution. So I'm going to let u is equal to the denominator, which is 2x plus 1. Okay, so this implies, so differentiating both sides with respect to x, so du by dx is equal to 2. So this implies du by 2 is equal to dx. So in place of dx, I can put du by 2. And in place of u, I can put. Now I, I need to figure out how can I express 4x minus 5 in terms of x. So from this, I hope you understand the next step like this. So this becomes, I'm going to multiply 2 to both sides. So this is 2u is equal to 4x <coughs> 4x plus 2. I'm just doubling both sides. I hope you can see why I'm putting I'm multiplying both sides by 2. I want to get 4x. I want to get negative 5. Okay, so what should I do to get negative 5? So well, this is to get negative 5, I have to take away 7. So if you take away 7 from this side, you have to take away 7 from this side. So you can say 2u minus 7 is 4x minus 5. So these are the three substitutions that we are going to do. So this becomes this becomes integration of in place of 4x minus 5 I can write 2u minus 7 over u times du by 2. So I'm going to factor the 1 over 2 out. So this is 2u minus 7 over u du. Now I want to divide both sides by uh, both uh, both the numerators by u. So this is equal to half times integration of 2u over u minus 7 over u du. I'm doing more steps so that you understand. So this is half times integration of this becomes <coughs> uh, 2 minus 7 times 1 over u du. So I can distribute the uh, integration. So this is half times integration of uh, 2 du minus 7 times integration of 1 over u du. So this is equal to half. Now integration of 2 is integration of so this is this becomes integration of 2 is 2u integration of 2 is 2u and integration of negative 1 over 7 sorry integration of 1 over u is natural log of u plus c the constant of in integration so now simplifying this a little so this is u minus 3.5 natural log of u plus c. So to put back 
my u, which is 2x plus 1. So my final answer is 2x plus 1 minus 3.5 times natural log of 2x plus 1 plus c. Okay, now the final question. You want to integrate this. So again, we're going to do the same substitution. Let let the denominator is 4x u is equal to the denominator which is x to the power 4 minus 5x plus 7. So do the same thing du by dx is 4x cubed minus 5. So cross multiplying or multiplying both sides by dx, I can say du is equal to 4x cubed minus 5 dx. Now this is a skill, or this is a technique we need to learn or you will learn by practice. So this can be written, I'm going to rewrite this same thing as integration of 4x cubed minus 5 times dx over x to the power 4 minus 5x plus 7. So this whole top thing can be replaced by du. So this is nothing but integration of du over u, which is integration of 1 over u du. And that is same as, or that is equal to natural log of u plus c. And now to put back, what is u? So that is natural log of u is x to the power 4 minus 5x plus 7 plus c. And this is your final answer. Okay, for all these questions, you can practice your skills by differentiating this and check whether you're getting back the original function. Okay, so if you differentiate this, you should get back the integral.